You want to see me run to that village? You want to see me do it again? Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I'm the Penguin, the Sea Penguin, and welcome back to another mod spotlight. Today we are looking at a mod called Enhanced Portals 3. Why do I always dig a hole? Anyway, Enhanced Portals 3. It does what it says on the tin. You create Enhanced Portals, which is uh, pretty cool, and it's the third edition. I've used this mod before in the past, and it was uh, quite useful for long distance travel, where uh, I mean long distances in space, the outer atmosphere. Yes. Uh, this mod allows you to travel to any dimension that you set up a portal in, so whether it be Glatcraft Moon, or Twilight Forest, or Nether, wherever you th want to go, this mod can take you there. <clears throat> it's pretty awesome. And just before we get started, I just want to say thank you very much for 100 subscribers. I am very happy to uh, say that uh, you guys are my subscribers. It's pretty awesome. So for a 100 subscriber special, which uh, I'm sure I will do, please leave a comment below to... Uh, to let me know what you want me to, to do because, you know, I've got a whole variety of things. I could play a game or I could do a challenge, you know, whatever you think I should do. Please leave it in the comments. I'd love to know. So, let's get back to the mod. So, to start with, you'll need something called the DBS, which is the Dimensional Bridge Stabilizer. Now, to make this, you will need four ender poles, a diamond, and four iron blocks. That gives you six. So, you need 12. So, you need to do this recipe twice. So, we're going to get some of these. You also need a wrench, which is three iron and another quartz, and you need a location card, which is four iron, four paper, and lapis lazuli, and that gives you 16 location cards. That's more than you're ever going to need, trust me. So to start with, I will warn you now that you, uh, what you need is, um, you need a uh, thermal expansion, because this mod does use energy, so please keep that in mind. So, uh please uh, know how to use thermal expansion. So what you need to do, you need to put these in a 3x2x2. By two by two. So 3 across, 2 across, 2 up. There you go. And then right click with the wrench. This will form the malt block structure, which is the dimensional bridge, bridge stabilizer. Now you've got uh, your energy bar and everything here. Just going to get rid of that. So what I need is uh, some RF. So I'm going to get a energy cell. Get a creative energy cell, just uh, whack it down there. So as you can see, it's fully powered with 30,000 RF, which is uh, quite nice. So uh, I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is the portal frame. Now, the portal frame is built like so, just four stone, four iron, and some block of quartz in the middle. That gives you four frames. Now you could build a frame any way you like. You could build it as simple as, say... Yeah, you could build it as simple as that, and I'll show you why I left that blank in the next bit. Or you could have something like this. Any configuration you like, I'm pretty sure you can build a portal in that way, so that's quite cool. You've also got the decoration uh, available, which I will, uh, which is uh, in here. Is it? Uh you got the decoration, which is the bordered uh, quartz, which is uh, the same thing, does the same thing, but I think it's just decorative. Now, uh, to get started with this, you also need a portal controller. Now, the portal controller is just a portal frame and a diamond. <clears throat> I'm very sorry, I don't know what's happening to my voice. So you need a portal controller. Now, the portal controller uh, needs to be touching the air blocks at which you are going to create the portal. So if I'm going to put mine down there, it looks like the normal pillared quartz but uh yeah that's kind of annoying mod maker if you're listening please put these as different textures because it's rather annoying even putting a dot would make it better maybe you can rotate them i'm not sure but yeah so now we've got that what you can do is right click the location card on your dbs so like that so location set now right click on this portal initialize so this has created a portal now, what you'll want to do is right-click with the wrench and give it a unique identifier. Uh, I'm going to give this one three emeralds, and I'll show you why in a minute. And you can also set whether it's uh, private or public. So private networks uh, only allow you to dial to your uh, private network. No, sorry. Private networks make it so that you can dial to public networks, but not other private networks. And public networks obviously mean that you can only go to public ones. 
So you can't have uh, people come to your own network if you don't want them to, which is uh, quite useful. So we've got that. But now what do we do? Well, you need one of the other next blocks, which we have here, which is uh, the that's the portal control. We've got the redstone interface, which I will cover in a second, but we also want the dialing device. We've also got the network interface, which uh, is worth of an honorable mention. It's just a portal frame and an ender pearl. Now this, what it does is uh, lets you put in the locations of other portals with the same identifier. So if I was to put, say, uh, uh, another portal over there and put that as three emeralds, what I can do is set it up so that, say, on a redstone pulse, which I'll get to in a second, it will switch to the next network on uh, to the next one on that network, if that makes sense. So uh, if I was to put, say, a load of different ones around, yeah, you can skip to which one you want it to be. Or instead, for ease, you can use the dialing device, which is just a network interface and a diamond. I'd recommend using this one. Now, what you can do is you can break any block here. As long as you don't break this one, it does not need to be reconnected. So I'm just going to do that. And now I'm going to right click with the wrench again. So the portal is now reconfigured. So now if I right click on the dialing device, I can put in a manual entry. And I'm going to put in three diamonds. Save. And I'm going to name it as village2. Like so. And you can also change what the frame looks like. Oh. Yep, don't click escape. I'm going to put three diamonds, save, and I'm going to put pitch two. You can also change the color of what the portal looks like. So I'm going to use dark blue. And I don't know, I'm going to have uh, uh, that because that looks cool. So cool. So that's what it looks like. And save. So now if I dial, I have portal with these particle effects, which is pretty awesome. So now I'm over here. Now if I was to right click here and click terminate, it cuts the connection to the portal. Now if I look over here, I've got uh, village 2, which is this one. Now if I right click, if I left click C, I cannot dial to my own thing, obvious. So village 1, so I've got a different power I've got the same color, but I've got bubbles, because bubbles are awesome. Bubbles! My bubbles. Anyway, walk it through, and we're back here. So that is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to terminate the thing, and I'm going to add uh, say the redstone uh, interface which is here which is just four redstone and a portal frame now what this allows you to do is interact with the subroutines as it says on the wiki uh, so what you can do is if I was to right click on the controller then right click uh, with the wrench here I assume so when it receives a redstone signal uh, you've got input and output so input, when it receives a signal, it can create a portal on a signal, remove a portal, create a portal on a pulse, remove a portal on a pulse, do, a as you can see, create a portal signal, remove, create a portal pulse, remove pulse, dial specific identifier, dial specific identifier number two, dial random identifier, and as you can see, you can do a lot of things. So I'm going to say create a portal on a pulse. So now if I get, say, a lever, actually I'm going to get a button. So I like buttons. I was to put it on this one. And this was the redstone controller, was it not? Uh, uh, it's that one down there. That one. So if I press the button. Oh no, I think it's actually with this. I think. And if I say um, pulse. Do -do 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 create pull on signal. I think that's the one I want. No, maybe not. Or if I did remove on signal, would that make more sense? There we go, remove on signal. I think I'd have to set it to dial a specific one. Uh, dial specific identifier. No, not going to work. Oh well. Well, you can remove on pulse and dial on pulse. You have to figure it out. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, quite cool. So I'm just going to set it to like that. We've also got output where port created, port removed, port active all inactive so these things uh, will happen when something happens if that makes any sense I don't know these are you can add as many of these as you want you can have multiple occurrences of the same thing so you could have say input this and when that's input say it goes and creates another pool somewhere else with wireless redstone because wireless redstone is awesome so we can do that what else can we do well we can uh, if I get some more redstone 
damn you. Uh, redstone, redstone. There we go. So I'm going to put that there. And what I'm going to say is uh, move the buttons. Move things from my inventory. So what I'm going to say is uh, output. So when a portal is created, output on a redstone signal. So I'm going to terminate and then create. As you can see, it's had a very faint signal there for the brief second. See if I can get it again. Terminate. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it was uh, there. So that's uh, pretty cool. So we've got that. Next in the line, we've got the manipulator. Now, manipulator. <laughs> manipulator gives a diamond, an emerald, a portal frame, and a blank portal module, which is just eight nug nuggets and iron nuggets, gold nuggets. So we've got one of these. So notice if I break, say this. Oh, pardon me, and say put the manipulator back and right click. As you can see, it should still remain it as long as I don't break that. Yep, so now we've got that, so I can right click. Portal modules. Now there is a variety of modules that we can add. We have particle destroyer, stops particles from getting created. Rainbow particles, every particle will have a random color. Silencer, silences the portal. Momentum, entries keep their, um, entities keep their momentum. So that's like if you wanted, say, minecart to go through. Because you can transport everything. Players, energy, items, fluid, mobs, animals, you name it. You can transfer this through these portals, which is pretty awesome. Entities keep their momentum. Cloaking makes the portal completely invisible. Particle shader, particles randomly spawn lighter or darker. Facing uh, facing direction to face on teleport. Feather fall negates fall damage. So yeah, it's gonna be, I'm going to take the rainbow particles because I'm uh, a random fan of particles. So I'm going to shove that in. So now if I create the portal, as you can see, they've got uh, loads of different colors, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, you can manipulate your uh, portal if you really wish, if you want to. You can uh, manipulate the portals. And as you can see here, we've got the fluid transposition modules, the item transposition modules, and the energy transposition. Transportation. That's the word that I was looking for. Transportation. And you've got all those transportation modules. So, which is, uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So now if I walk through, I'm over here. Which is, uh, how do you do, sir? So I can shove him through. You're going on a trip, sir. You're going on an adventure. See, he went on an adventure. So now he should be over here. There he is. He went on an adventure. So yeah, that's uh, all this mod has to uh, offer, which is uh, pretty cool. I'll let you guys tinker around with the other uh, modules, because I'm sure you can figure them out. You're smart people. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe for more videos from me. Feel free to leave a comment below on what I should do, or just in general, leave feedback on what you think I should do, any mods, any games. Feel free, go nuts, it's there for a reason. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! When I think of the future, I think of the men and machines and friends and ideas and philosophy.